are going to discuss about the second part of cell division that is mitosis. So you have uh, studied in the first part of the cell division. We have discussed about what is cell division, what is cell cycle, what are the different stages of interface we have discussed. So today we are going to discuss about the second part of cell division that is mitosis. So today's discussion will be regarding mitosis. So what is mitosis means? Mito means division. Okay, mitosis means division. That is suppose uh, this is a cell. This is the parent cell. You can say for example, this will divide into two daughter cells. This will divide into two daughter cells. So by this you can know the gist or the main criteria of mitosis is that it is results in the formation of two daughter cells. How these two daughter cells are formed and all these things we will be discussing each one of them one by one. So let's begin. Some certain important points are this is known as equi equational division. What do you mean by equational division? That is, it will resist in the formation of two daughter cells as I showed you. Okay. Second point, what happened during this time? Nuclear envelope or nuclear envelope will break down. Okay, nuclear envelope will break down. Second, what will happen? Chromosome condensation. This is a very very important step. Chromosome condensation. During the interface, we have seen that the chromosomes were remaining in the uncondensed form. If you remember, in the interface, we have studied the G1, S phase, G2 phase and uh, these three phases and G0 also we have studied. But mainly, what we have seen that the chromosome was remaining in the uncondensed form. That was not clearly visible in the microscope. But during this time of uh, mitosis, it will be divided into this chromosome will be remaining in the condensed form. That is clearly it will be, you can say it will be visible form. Okay, the visible form of the chromosome will be seen during the mitosis. Okay, next what will happen? All this thing that is whether the cell, all the cell segregation, rearrangement, everything will be taking place before mitosis that is M phase, before this also known as M phase. Before mitosis, this takes place for one hour. Before mitosis, all the preparation was done. Now, it is the main thing that the division will happen. But this process of mitosis is divided into mainly the phase. Second is the metaphase. Okay. Third is the prophase, metaphase. Then third is the anaphase. And fourth one is the telophase. So these are the four stages of four stages of mitosis. Okay? And in each step, what all processes are happening, we will be discussing. I am I will only discuss the highlighted point. Okay. And let's begin. Okay. So prophase means you can say pro means what? By the simple English term, you can say. Pro means before stage. Pro means before stage. So during this stage, what will happen? The nuclear envelope will start disappearing. So uh, suppose this is a cell. This is the nuclear envelope. This is the nucleus, suppose. Okay. This is the nucleus. Okay. The nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear envelope, you know. And inside the nucleus or the chromosomes will be present. Okay. This is the basic structure of a cell. Okay. So what will happen, the nuclear envelope will start disappearing during this stage, okay. And it is known as the first stage of the cell division, okay. This is the first stage of the cell division as well as it is the longest stage also. It is the longest stage also, okay. These are the highlighted point I am discussing about it. Then nucleus will disappear and the separation of the centromere will occur. What will happen? Centromere separation. Centromere separation. 
centromere separation will occur during this stage. Okay, and the formation of mitotic spindle. What is the role of mitotic spindle? Mitotic spindle formation only take place. Okay, mitotic spindle formation will take place. But why it is needed, we will be discussing now. Okay, so what are all the points we have discussed? First of all, the it is known as the first division or you can say first phase. Second, it is known as the condens. Here, the condensation of the chromosomes will start. Okay, takes place. Condensation of chromosome will start occurring. But still, now the chromosome is not that clearly visible. Then, what will happen? The nucleus will disappear. Okay, nucleus or nuclear membrane will start disappearing. Then, what will happen? The centromere separation will occur, and then the mitotic spindle formation will occur. These are the steps which are occurring during the process. Now we will discuss what will happen during the meta phase. Okay, this is the meta phase. What will happen during this time? The chromosomes which were present. Suppose this is the cell. The chromosomes which were present will arrange themselves in the equatorial plane like this. The chromosome will arrange themselves. In the equatorial plane. This is the equator. So this phase is known as the meta phase. That is, the chromosome will arrange themselves in the equatorial plane. Okay. And here, the spindle fiber will be captured. Okay. In the spindle fiber will be captured by this centromere. And what will happen? Spindle fiber formation. That is, this centromere will be attached to the spindle fiber. This is known as the spindle fiber, and this is known as the centriole. From the centriole, the spindle fiber from in the both the end, the spindle fiber will be joining the centromere. The central part is known as centromere. Okay, it will join the chromosome into a equatorial plane. Okay, in the equatorial plane, the chromosome will be joined. Okay, at this stage, the two kinetic core of each chromosome should be attached to the microtubule, and here. A spindle checkpoint will be when we will be discussing about the different stages of checkpoints. Then we will see what are the checkpoints all about. Spindle checkpoint is mainly to check whether all the centromere are attached to the spindle or not. Why it is essential step for attaching of spindle to the centromere? Because after this stage, that is after this stage, that is anaphase will come, in which. The chromosomes will be pulling apart. From will be arranged from the it will be pulled to the different pole by the help of the spindle fiber. So if the centromeres are not attached to the spindle fiber, then the chromosome will remain and it can't be separated. And the and the daughter cells will not get equal amount of chromosome. Okay, third stage that is the anaphase. So. Before this stage, you have seen that how the chromosomes were arranged in the equatorial plane. Now, what will happen? These chromosome, that is the sister. First of all, you need to understand what is sister chromosome. So, this is a chromosome, one chromosome. This is another chromosome, and each is known as the chromatid. You know that these two are known as sister chromosome, or known as sister chromatid. And these two are known as non-sister. That is, the chromatids of one chromosome is known as sister, and the chromatid of two different chromosome is known as non-sister. Okay, this you know that this is. And in exam also it is asked during which stage the sister chromatids will separate. The sister chromatids will separate during the anaphase, and the sister chromatid head. By a protein known as cohesin protein. This cohesin protein, which was holding these two sister chromatids together, will separate out, and each will be moving to separately to do distinct pole. Do distinct pole. Okay. There is still some what chromosome cent spindle fiber will be there, but it will start disappearing. Okay. The spindle fiber, what it will do? A contraction of pull will happen. So it was present first in the middle, then a pull will happen, which will separate this chromosome into two. One will move to one pole, another one will move to another pole. And for this process, obviously ATP is required. 
okay for this process atp is highly required still now it is not complete after telophase also one more step is there but what happened during telophase during the telophase what are things which have disappeared earlier during the prophase that all will start coming up okay that is what will happen new nuclear envelope will form okay and chromosome will unfold back to the uncondensed state and one more thing i forgot to tell tell you that during the anaphase only remember this anaphase only different stages of chromosome will be visible different stages of chromosome like telocentric acrocentric okay different stages of chromosome which are if when we will discuss about the structure of chromosome we will know what is all that so the chromosomes in short you can say it will be if it will ask an exam in which stage of this mitosis the chromosome is best visible that is during the anaphase stage this step is also important so what happened during telophase what are the things which have disappeared that is the nuclear envelope all the thing will again reappear and the chromosome will again move back to the unfold state first the chromosome during the interphase was uncondensed when the mitosis started it became condensed and by the end of this telophase only it will move back again to the uncondensed form okay all the things will move back to the first one okay now the nuclear envelope will form again okay and the daughter cells okay suppose this is a single cell so the nuclear envelope will form again and the chromosome will move back to the uncondensed form okay the chromosome will move back to the uncondensed form and now this after this telophase stage the chromosome this two daughter cells will separate out how it will happen we will discuss that new nuclear uh, new nuclear envelope will be formed and cell continues to elongate why cells continues to elongate so that these two cells will be separated out and final result we will get that is the two daughter cells so cell starts elongating up and degradation of the spindle fiber takes place so remember this thing so till anaphase the spindle fiber will be remaining but by the end of telophase the degradation the degradation of spindle fiber will occur means the spindle fiber will be completely degraded out okay so by this the completion of the two daughter cells all the things which have disappeared will regain back but now we need to separate this two things. from the word itself you know that is the division of or the separation of the separation of cytoplasm okay in animal cell how it will occur we will discuss and how it will occur in the plant cell we will discuss so during the plant animal cell suppose this is the cell a central furo will be formed in the middle as a result it will divide into two daughter cells okay it will divide into two daughter cells a central furo a contra contraction or constriction will happen in the center as a result it will separate into two daughter cells okay from the center but during the plant what will happen the golgi complex the golgi complex will create a cell plate that is cell plate because what is the difference between animal cell and a plant cell during the plant cell cell wall is present whereas animal cell cell wall is not present so the plant cells the cell plate will be formed around the cell wall as a result of which they can separate it out and by the contribution of this golgi complex this cell plate will be formed and this two dot the complex or you can sorry you can say how this is how the cytokinesis occurred and now by this stage all the daughter cells will be formed that is two daughter cells and by this it marks the end of the mitosis stage okay difference this is a very basic thing what is the difference between animal cell and a plant cell first of all obviously that is the animal cell contains centrioles centrioles will be present whereas here centrioles will not be present okay plant cell second here cell wall is absent but here the cell wall is present basic basic thing okay then next what will happen ester formation that is what is ester that is the star like structure which was holding the spindle fiber that will be present in the 
animal cell, okay, but here it will not be present because spindle fiber because central is all is not there. Then how does the invagination process occur? The animal cell, the cytokinesis is occurred by the invagination process. What is invagination? That is folding inward, folding inward. As I have told you, folding inward like this. Suppose this. The folding inward and it separated out into two daughter cells. Whereas here, what happened? It happened due to the formation of a cell plate, which was formed by Golgi complex. Okay, these are certain things which are the basic basic things which you need to know about the animal cell and plant cell. And by this, it is the end of the second part of the video which we have discussed about the mitosis process. In the second, in the third part of the video, we are going to discuss about the meiosis and also the meiosis is of two parts. That is meiosis one and meiosis two, which we are going to cover in separate video. And remember this, meiosis is very very important topic as well as this cell, the whole cell division or cell cycle is very important. Might seem easy, but tricky questions or experimental questions are also asked due from this area. If you are not clear that during which stage what is happening. Then it will be very very difficult for you to answer. So remember, from the if you start from the very basic, then everything will be clear. Okay. So by this, this marks the end of this today's topic. So if you are new to my channel, to subscribe and like and share as much as you can among your friends, and hope you have a very very nice day. Thank you and have a nice.